Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be all of my top favorite sunscreens ever. I just was in the mood to talk about sunscreen, so if you're new here, welcome. My name is Alithia. On this channel, I do share a lot about skincare, self-care, a little bit of makeup, fashion, decluttering, organization, pretty much whatever I feel like talking about. I do perfume reviews and I also love coffee. So if you like any or all of those things, I would love if you consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get into today's sunscreen recommendation video. All right, guys, so welcome back again to my bedroom. Um, today, I'm in the mood to talk about sunscreen. I was just doing my morning skincare routine, and I was thinking about my sunscreens, and I had some thoughts that I wanted to verbalize out loud, and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I actually had a friend at work recently the other day ask me about um, anti-aging skincare and skincare in general. And apparently I'm earning a name at work as like the go-to person for skincare, which is very cool. But I think I'm going to talk about it a little bit more because it's something I'm very, very passionate about. And people always ask like what my recommendation for sunscreens are. I have a few that I think are really good. And I have tried so many sunscreens over the last year, you guys, I really started getting into Korean sunscreens and I tried quite a few high-end, I tried quite a few mineral, a few hybrid, a few chemical. I tried sunscreens that were tinted and untinted from all different parts of the world, like Australian sunscreens and Japanese sunscreens. And anyways, these are these are kind of my top, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These would be my top seven sunscreens so far to date that I have ever tried. And I wanted to go through them in today's video and just share some thoughts. I also have one favorite one that they unfortunately reformulated. I just wanted to make this video because I really love chatting about sun protection and instead of doing like skincare all of my skincare in one video that would be a lot i wanted to just focus in on just sunscreens swatch them for you guys show you what they look like tell you what i like and don't like about them so it's a beautiful day um it's actually like not too sunny outside it's a little bit overcast and the sun is just peeking out enough that i can have some nice lighting to do some filming and i was just in the mood to film and i'm still having my morning coffee here um, in my favorite mug. By the way, I'm thinking of changing out all of my mugs to these ones from H&M Home because they still have them on the website and they're the cutest mugs ever. And they're beige, they hold a lot of coffee, they go with all of my decor, and the price is also really good. These mugs are only $9.99 Canadian, which is a lot cheaper than the ceramic mugs that you can get online and from Amazon and stuff. Um, by the way, you guys, I had my nails redone and I did them in red because I wanted to try something different and they're a little bit more bold and wow factor for me than what I usually do but I just really really wanted to try um, red nails. I think going forward in the future I'll probably ju just do like red tips or something. This is a little bit much. It's a little flashy but I'm kind of enjoying it and I kind of like that like yes they're very bold and loud but they're literally the only not neutral thing in my life and so it's kind of a nice um juxtaposition against all of my beigey neutral outfits okay so without too much further ado you guys let's get into these sunscreens i don't think i'm going to go in any particular order i might just start i might just start with my korean sunscreens and then go to my other sunscreens because yeah i can't really say that like i have one that i love the most out of all of them i like them all for different reasons and i think they're all amazing so let's just get into it all right so the first sunscreen i'm going to tell you guys about which you've already heard about because it's very very popular and very viral this is the beauty of joseon relief sun rice and probiotic spf 50 with the pa4 pluses for those of you who aren't aware the four plus system or the pa rating system is a way to gauge how much of UVA the sunscreen blocks out. UVA is the um, UV rays that are particularly important for aging. So this one has a four plus rating. I think there might be now a five plus, but as far as I know, the four plus is kind of like the best you can get in terms of um, UVA blockage. So the beauty of Joseon, I've had this in my linen closet for, I would say like six months to a year ish. It doesn't expire yet. All of the sunscreens I have are not expired. Um, this one is probably one of the most cosmetically elegant and one of the best under makeup. So that's what I particularly like this one for. If I need something that I'm planning to wear a full face of makeup and I want something that is really cosmetically elegant, isn't going to move around on my skin, isn't going to make the makeup look patchy later, isn't going to move around 
on my face. This is the one I like to go with because it kind of goes on your skin just like a moisturizer and it becomes pretty much undetectable and it wears really well under makeup. Um, so this one is not my daily go-to. I kind of reserve it for those days when, like I said, I just want to have um, a more glamorous, cosmetically elegant look and I want my sunscreen to kind of just be there in the background. This still does burn my eyes a little bit and I like to put my sunscreen right up around my eyes and a little bit on my eyelids as well because those are obviously exposed to sun too and your eyes are a very sensitive part of your face that's prone to aging um, just like the rest of your face. So it's really important to me to find sunscreen that doesn't burn the eyes. If this does get in the eyes, it still does sting a little bit. Not as bad as some of the other American sunscreens I've tried, chemical American sunscreens wow they burn if they get in the eyes this isn't as bad but it still is one that i still have to be a little bit careful because it is i believe this one is a hybrid i can't read the writing on the back and i don't have it memorized but this one is either all chemical or it's a hybrid meaning it has mineral and chemical filters this one also has really good skin loving ingredients in it it's got lots of nice skincare ingredients um so yeah this is one that it's the only one like this in my collection that i have i have one that's kind of similar that's also a hybrid and i like the other one better personally so yeah this is the beauty of joseon this is one of the two Korean sunscreens I still have in my collection and like I say the most cosmetically elegant even my boyfriend is happy to use this on his face because it doesn't leave a greasy dewy look it kind of rubs right in like a moisturizer and it just leaves your skin feeling hydrated but without having too much of a glow or too much of a radiance it's the least uh I would say this one this one and one other that I have in my collection are the least radiant uh sunscreen that I have in my collection I've told you guys many times that I have dry skin and sensitive skin as well so i usually do prefer something that does give me a little bit of a radiance a little bit of a glow i need something a little bit more hydrating nourishing moisturizing and emollient just because that's the type of skin that i have but if you are oily i think you would really really like this one and if you don't have dry skin you'd probably really like this one so this one gets my top rating for wearing under makeup and also being one that i think everybody will be happy to wear. This is the other and the only other Korean sunscreen that I have in my collection. I absolutely love this one. This one is an all mineral SPF 50 PA4 pluses uh, sunscreen that dries down to a satin skin like finish. It is absolutely beautiful. The finish on this is so pretty. It does have a very slight mild cast, but nothing too crazy. It's almost indetectable, at least on my um, light skin tone. I don't know if you had like a much darker skin tone if this would show up much or not i and i haven't seen anybody else review this for darker skin tones um but at least on me it's pretty much undetectable so this is the etude etude house sun prize mild airy finish they do have another one that's called the mild watery light or something like that i like the mild airy finish so it comes in this super cute packaging it does have a little ball in it and you do have to shake it you guys can hear that it's quite watery so you do have to shake it every single time you use it i absolutely love this you guys so much um it just makes my skin look beautiful it wears pretty well under makeup it's probably not the most cosmetically elegant i would say that the beauty of joseon is probably better for under makeup if you want like a perfect flawless finish complexion that isn't going to budge throughout the day this one doesn't melt into your skin quite as much as the beauty of joseon but i kind of prefer this because it's just like a beautiful soft powdery veil of sunscreen it almost like helps to perfect your skin tone and your complexion a little bit it's like you imagine you took the hourglass finishing powder as a sunscreen that's kind of what this is this is like hourglass finishing powder in sunscreen version liquid sunscreen version that's how it makes my skin look it is beautiful um so yeah, like I say, I've tried this one and I've also tried the chemical one. The chemical one my boyfriend actually likes um, and I think he still has it somewhere or maybe it's in my packing, my overnight bag or my vacation bag because when we go away on holidays to places that are hot um, and sunny, he likes to use it. But this one is one of my favorites. Um, I kind of like, I'm trying not to use it up because I love it so much. But when I run out of this, I will definitely be repurchasing. It's just such an easy, lovely everyday sunscreen doesn't leave a greasy overly glowy finish it's just a really nice satin finish so this one i quite like i think this would be good for like normal combo skin 
If you had oily skin, it might still be okay or it might be a little bit too moisturizing for you. And if you have really, really, really dry skin, I think this would still be okay because I have pretty dry skin and it works really well for me. Okay, this next one is the Banana Boat Daily Protect Sunscreen SPF 50. This is broad spe spectrum, fragrance-free, and sweat and water resistant up to 80 minutes. And it says specifically that it is lightweight and non-greasy. This is the one that I use for my neck, backs of hands, decolletage, arms, legs, feet, whatever, anything that's not my face that's going to be exposed to sun. So I, this is my second purchase of this, and I got this just because I needed something good for the body. I wanted something that wasn't greasy. I wanted something that wouldn't be like rubbing off on my clothing and leaving a cast and all that stuff. And this is absolutely perfect. I really, really like it. It doesn't have much of a scent at all. This one is fragrance free. I just, I love it. It's SPF 50. It works. It's affordable. You get 240 milliliters for like, I don't know, 14 Canadian dollars or something like that. And it lasts a really long time. So I put this on the backs of my hands every single day, on my neck, on my earlobes, um, on my chest, if it's gonna be exposed, on my arms, if they're gonna be exposed. I put this on the back of my hands before I go and get my nails done, before they go under the UV light, and I also use UV um, protective gloves, fingerless, like the, the type that your nails can stick out of, for when I get my nails done, because I'm not a fan of going to get my nails done and sticking my hand basically in a tanning lamp every month. I just, I don't wanna do that because I feel like that's the only part of my body that I specifically would put under a UV light and I just don't like it. So I always make sure to really put a lot of sunscreen on when I get my nails done as well. And because I will tell you guys, I have noticed a change in my hands since starting to get UV gel nails. I've noticed that they're starting to look older since stopping with just normal polish. And so it really does make an impact, you guys. So yeah, I, I'm really careful about that. And actually sometimes I think about not even getting UV or gel nails anymore because I just wanna make keep my hands looking as pretty for as long as I can, but I love having gel nails, so <laughs> that's not likely to happen. But yeah, so this is kind of my body sunscreen and neck, chest, backs of hands. So there's a lot of ones that you can get from like Sephora. Um, Super Goop has like a Super Goop Play. Uh, there's a whole bunch of sunscreens, but honestly, I'm not going to pay 40 or $50 when this is just as good, does just as good of a job and is a lot more affordable and I can get it locally and I just really like it. So this has been kind of my, you know, I, I don't want to spend 40 or $50 on a sunscreen or even bother with like a Korean sunscreen. That's a chemical sunscreen when this does just as good of a job. I would even put this on my face if it wasn't for the fact that the chemical filters in here would really irritate my eyes. So that is the Banana Boat Daily Protect. Highly recommend you can get this from Walmart. If you live in the States, I'm sure you can get it at like Walgreens and CVS and other places like that. Okay, the next one is the Coppertone Pure and Simple Face SPF 50. Now, as you can see, I have three bottles of this. I have the new packaging and the old packaging. So this is the new packaging, which is very pretty, um, looks very sleek. This is the old packaging. So I will show you both of them and I will tell you, I have detected a little bit of a difference, not just with the packaging, but a little bit with the formula. And it makes me really mad because I hate when you finally find a product that you love so much and they go ahead and change the packaging. So I have been using the Copper Tone Pure and Simple SPF 50, the one in the green bottle for like, I want to, I don't even remember, but probably well over a year now, year and a half. I discovered it a while ago and I absolutely love the finish. So again, this one is water resistant up to 80 minutes. It's hypoallergenic and gentle. It's hundred percent mineral, broad spectrum, U, uh, UVA and UVB SPF 50. You can't ask for much of a better profile when it comes to a sunscreen. Um, and this one is only like $15 Canadian, you guys, compared to paying $40 or $50 for some of the more high-end brands at like Sephora. Um, so they did change the packaging, and I do notice a little bit of a change with how it goes on the skin. And at first I thought maybe it's all in my head, I'm probably just imagining things, but I did look at the ingredients side by side and they are slightly different. The ingredients are the same, but the way that they've ordered them in the bottle is different. So on the old package, on the old bottle, it was this this thing called 1,2-hexanediol and 2 ethyl hexyl something or other, and then water and then beeswax. On the new one, on the new one, water is the first ingredient and that hexa 
whatever, hexandiol, whatever it is, comes later. They have exactly the same ingredients, but they're just ordered differently. So I don't know why they did that. It's a little bit frustrating to be honest because I prefer the consistency of the old one over the new one. The new one is, they're both really good. What I love about this sunscreen is that it is very emollient. Um, it has almost a slight oiliness, not a greasiness, something like the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint. You know that one that it kind of has like the nice oils for your face. That's what this kind of feels like. It kind of feels a little bit like that, but it's a little bit more thicker, a little bit more of a cream consistency. It isn't particularly oily. It leaves a beautiful glowy radiant finish on my skin. It is extremely hydrating and moisturizing. It leaves just a very subtle cast. Like if I had to rate it out of 10, I would say it's like a one to two out of 10 for a cast. So it's not a lot. Um, it feels really nice. It's extremely gentle, doesn't irritate my skin, doesn't burn the eyes, of course, because it's mineral. I can put this all over my face, and even if it gets in my eyes, it does not burn. In terms of under makeup, it's probably one of the least cosmetically elegant for under makeup because it does slip around on your face just because of the the nature of it. I also do go in with an oil and a, a moisturizer before my sunscreen because I have very dry skin. So that could be part of it too. Maybe if I just went in with only this in the morning, it would make a difference, but I like to load up the hydration. So I have already a vitamin C oil and then I also have my Sunday Rally Ice and then I go in with my moisturizer. So that could be why it doesn't sit really well under makeup. I also apply a lot. Um, I know a lot of people don't apply near enough sunscreen and then they rave about how their sunscreen is so great under makeup, but a lot of the times they're not applying enough. <laughs> so I make sure to apply well enough of the sunscreen and I also reapply throughout the day if I don't have any makeup or anything on my face. Um, so I absolutely love it. If my skin is irritated or dry, it is really good. Um, if I'm acclimating to retinoids, if I have tretinoin irritation, if I have any like rosacea type of flare-ups, I don't have a specific diagnosis of rosacea, but I do tend to get redness and irritation. So if I have anything like that, this is fantastic. So if you have dry, sensitive skin, I love this and I think you should check it out. So this is the new packaging. What I notice different with the new packaging, again, I'm so sad. I was hoping it was all in my head. I just noticed that it is a little bit less emollient and a little bit more powdery, if that makes sense. So it does have a little bit more, a slight little bit more of a zinkiness to it, a little bit more of that tendency to want to be a white cast. Um, I'll swatch them side by side for you guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite disappointed that they changed up the formula, but yeah, if only I could find more of this green one, I would literally buy it in bulk. I would buy a whole carton of them because I love it that much. So this is still my most worn sunscreen. Out of all the sunscreens I have, it is still my most worn despite the formula change, despite the packaging change. Um, still my most worn. It's just such an easy go-to for me and I just don't have to think about it. It feels really nice, keeps my skin hydrated and glowy, gives me a beautiful lit from within glow, almost as if I've applied a Hollywood flawless filter. I have gotten compliments from complete strangers on my skin because of this sunscreen. So forget about, you know, spending 50 or $60 on Hollywood Flawless Filter, just get yourself a really good glowy sunscreen. It's good for you, it's cheaper. <laughs> and as you can see, I have one open one on the go. Actually, the green one's open too. And then I have one backup of this one because I always like to keep this in stock. I never want to run out of this sunscreen. All right, the next one is similar to the last two. This is the Copper Tone Pure and Simple for Baby SPF 50. This one is also hypoallergenic and gentle, 100% mineral, water resistant up to 80 minutes, um, and it's amazing. So I really, really like this one. This one you do have to give a bit of a shake. I noticed that it does settle out a little bit, probably because it's um, a little bit more kind of emollient and a little bit more kind of oily, I guess. It's made for baby skin. So what I love about this one, again, this is one of my most reached for just on days when I'm doing nothing. If I'm literally like doing errands around the house, cleaning house, walking the dog, um, taking out garbage, like whatever, heading out to the gym, even if I'm just going to work and I don't want to do a face of makeup, um, I reach for this. This is also the one I reach for if my skin is very irritated or sensitive or dry, or if I have any kind of um, reaction to a retinoid, which isn't often these days anymore, thankfully. My skin barrier is in really good condition, but this would be the one I would reach for. As you might guess, being that it's for a baby, it's extremely gentle. 
Um, it's very hydrating. Again, it's quite emollient. It leaves a nice hydrated dewy glow, maybe even more so than the one for face. The one for face is just a notch less glowy than this one. This one does leave a little bit of a cast again. It's about like a two out of 10, I would say, or a three out of 10 for a cast. Not bad at all. Nothing to make me deter me from wanting to wear this. Um, again, under makeup, not super cosmetically elegant, but this isn't the one I would go for if I wanted to do a full glam face of makeup. I would probably go with the Beauty of Josan or the next one that I'm about to talk about. So I love it, you guys. Um, again, it's super affordable, 177 mils, and you only pay about $15 Canadian. Lasts forever. Um, I love it. Again, I never want to be without this one because this is kind of my go-to lazy day, irritated skin, dry skin sunscreen. Um, you know how some people have like their holy grail, like they would go for La Roche-Posay, like if they were having dry sensitive skin or like a rosacea flare up or something. This is my, this is my sensitive dry skin go-to and it's way more affordable and I really like it. So again, if you have oily skin, this will not work for you. Same thing with the last two, the copper tone for face. If you have oily skin, they probably will not work. You will be a grease bucket. <laughs> but for dry, sensitive skin, these are amazing. All right, and the last sunscreen that I have to talk about, I have one open and one on the go. Or sorry, <laughs> I have one open and one that is unopened as a backup that I got during Black Friday sale because I loved the sunscreen so much. I wanted to make sure I had a backup and also it's pretty affordable and with black friday deals it brings it down to drugstore pricing so really affordable you can also get it from amazon but i ordered mine directly from the dermatology website so this is one of my all-time favorite sunscreens this is a hybrid sunscreen meaning it has both chemical and mineral filters and this is also the lowest spf out of anything in my collection but it still is a pretty high spf with a broad spectrum spf 45 and this is the dermatology broad spectrum sunscreen. This is the untinted version. That's what the um, dispenser looks like. Super pretty, super elegant packaging. Looks really beautiful on a vanity. Um, I really love the sleek, pretty design of the dermatology packaging, but it's what's inside that is amazing. So I have tried the tinted version of dermatology. It was way too dark for me. I have a really hard time finding tinted sunscreens even skin tints, just like normal foundation skin tints that are light enough for me. I have a very fair skin tone. For reference, in the Laura Mercier Real Flawless Weightless Perfecting Foundation, I am the lightest shade in their range, which is 0N1 Silk. So if we are shade twins, this will probably look really good on you, <laughs> and you probably know what it's like not to be able to find a good tinted sunscreen. Most of them are too orange, too warm, or um, they just make me look like an Oompa Loompa. It looks ridiculous. So I have tried to use tinted sunscreens because one of my main concerns with my skin is hyperpigmentation and sunspots. Um, and I have a little bit of redness in my skin as well. I have some post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. So one of my main concerns is pigment and it is well known that it is best to use a tinted sunscreen if you are concerned about hyperpigmentation or if you suffer from melasma. So this is not tinted. Ideally, I would have the tinted version. I think they came up with a new one, a universal tint or something. And I might want to try that just to see how it works. But this one, I love you guys. So first of all, even though it is a chemical and mineral combination, it doesn't burn my eyes like hardly at all. In fact, it probably stings the eyes less than the beauty of Josan. This one is also a little bit more plumping, hydrating, moisturizing, and emollient than the beauty of Josan. It's extremely cosmetically elegant. It feels literally, you guys, like a dream. It feels like a dream to apply to your skin. It feels like you're putting on some sort of luxury moisturizer. It does not feel like a sunscreen. It doesn't smell like sunscreen. It leaves my skin feeling plump and looking dewy and hydrated. Doesn't leave a cast. It's amazing. I can apply so much of this and it just rubs right in and just leaves my skin looking like I gave it a drink of water. I can't recommend this enough. If you are particularly oily, you might not like it because it is more hydrating than the Beauty of Josan. If you're super oily, I would suggest go with Beauty of Josan. If you're normal combo or dry, I would suggest using this. Even for dry, mature skin, this is amazing. This is easily my best sunscreen discovery for 2023. Easily my best discovery. 
one of my favorite all-time skincare discoveries. And I was actually thinking about just kiboshing all of my other sunscreens and only using this one. That's how much I love it because it also wears well under makeup. It's hydrating, it's fairly gentle. I just can't break myself away from the copper tone. I still, I still just love the copper tone. And sometimes you just want a good mineral sunscreen that feels nice and is not going to irritate. If I had sensitive skin, I don't know if this would um, bother my skin, like if I was having an irritation to tretinoin or something, I don't know if this would burn. I would be more likely to choose an all mineral on that day, but I cannot say enough good things about this one. So if you were thinking about it, stop thinking and just get it. The price is good. You can get discount codes. Um, there's a lot of creators out there who have 20% continuous discount codes. Can't say, can't say enough good things. I actually don't know if this one's water resistant because I don't know if it says. Yeah, this one, this one doesn't say, at least on the packaging, if it's water resistant. All of the other ones I talked about, except the Beauty of Josan, I don't know if that one's water resistant either. Um, but this one is 12% zinc oxide and 7.5% octanoxate. So yeah, I just, I cannot say enough good things about this one. So that about wraps up my sunscreen video. I'm just going to quickly recap for you guys. So the one that is the most cosmetically elegant and the best under makeup that I think most people would enjoy is your Beauty of Josan. The one that leaves kind of a powdery satin finish that is really beautiful and almost undetectable and totally mineral is the Sunprise Mild Airy Finish. I absolutely love this one. The one that I like to use for my entire body because it works, it's a good chemical sunscreen that isn't greasy and the price is right, is your Banana Boat Daily Protect. Um, my most kind of most used sunscreen would be the Copper Tone SPF Pure and Simple for face, but I don't use it if I want to do a full glam face of makeup because it does tend to slide around on my skin a little bit more, whereas the Beauty of Josan just absorbs right into the skin. Um, also, I would use the Dermatology for under makeup. The one that I use if I'm having a sensitive skin day or a lazy skin day or I just want to throw on something that's really nice and nourishing and I'm not too worried about my complexion or not going to be wearing a full face of makeup is my Copper Tone Pure and Simple Baby. Love it. I even get compliments on my skin when I wear that one. And kind of the best, like all purpose, you can wear it by itself, you can wear it under makeup. I think most people would like it. It's extremely cosmetically elegant. And my best sunscreen discovery of last year goes to the Dermatology Broad Spectrum SPF 45. Um, so that is all of my sunscreen recommendations. And this comes after trying, like I said in the intro, probably, I don't know, 20 to 25 sunscreens over the course of the last year. These are my top seven. So I'm going to go ahead and film my swatches for you. And I hope that you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day.